I'm Jessica. And I'm Kira. And we are the Keepers, Keepers of the books. books, your online librarians. And we are here with a Kids Keepers episode where we pull out a mystery blind bag. Kira doesn't know what we're going to pull out. And she has to name some books to go with whatever character we pull out. But we are trying to stump her because someday we're going to pull out a bag that she can't name a book for. Don't forget me. <laughs> oh, yes. And this is our puppet guest today. Ooh, yes. What's your name? The Chef. I refuse to be called anything but The Chef. Not to be confused with a cookie. <laughs> a cookie, okay. okay. Who, who are your brothers? Oh, I got Hal and Freddy, and I am The Chef. Hal the Prince Pal, Freddy the Fireman, and now The Chef. The I, Chef. Well, yeah. what do Freddy and Hal call you? The Chef. Oh. I refuse to be called anything but The Chef. What did they call you when you were kids? The Chef. <laughs> okay, whatever. I was just a chef in training, but I'm now The Is Chef. Fun fact about chefs for us today? Well, my hat. The folds in the hat represent all the ways you can cook an egg if you're a chef. Now that's one smart egg. Now the smart cookie. Okay, smart so, egg. No, I'm not a cookie. I'm a chef. Go ahead and reach in here. Let me stir the pot. I am an expert at stirring the pot. Okay, go ahead and find a blind bag. Do you need my help? That, 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 that one. That right one right there. there. Right there. Right there. Put a fork in it. Put a fork in it. It's done. Ooh. Ooh, what do we pull out? A Hatchimals Collectibles. Ooh. It is season one and there are 70 to collect. Okay, help me open this up. There we go. Just like Mama used to make. Hey, look, it's an egg. Let's put <laughs> eggs, it. eggs. I like eggs. They're good. On holidays, I like them flambéed. I like them anyway. This is a cute purple speckled egg with pink spots and a purple heart. Oh, I think I've got a, a fold in my hat for that one. Oh, should we hatch this one? Hatch an egg. We're going to hatch this hatch one. Hatch an egg. We're not going to cook it. We're going to hatch it. Oh. Let's crack the egg. Maybe we need a harder surface. Maybe we try your head. Okay, let's crack it open. Let me do it. Oh, you got it. Help me. Look at that. <gasps> it's, it's done. What <laughs> is it? Uh, no idea. <laughs> I think it's a pink bunny that's what? winking at us, and it has silver wings. Wings. It has wings. I've never seen a rabbit with wings. So, Kira, name some books to go with flying pink bunny rabbits. Well, that's definitely a difficult one. But if we go for flying things, there is Room on the Broom, which has lots of animals in it that go for a ride on a broom with a little witch. And Part-Time Princess, which is, of course, a flying dragon, not a flying bunny. To me, this looks more like a dragon. I like books about cooking. My favorite is The Little Gingerbread Man, because he gets to eat the cookie in the end. I thought you said you weren't a cookie. I like cookies, but I don't want to be called a cookie. Okay, tell us about a rabbit nonfiction book. The care and keeping of your rabbit. Okay, and what about, there's that evil bunny in the Pets movie. Any books about the evil bunny in the Pets movie? Because he looks a little bit like him. Well, of course you can find Secret Life of Pets books. There's actually several picture books that are called The Secret Life of Pets that are from the movie, as well as some easy readers that you should definitely check out. And there's an evil bunny. I know there's a book about my cousin, your Cupcake cu Cousins. Cupcake Cousins are your That's cousins? That's a good one. Cupcake Cousins. Those are good books. I love Cupcake Cousins. And come back and find out what's cooking. All the information for those books will be in the description below, so you can take that to your bookstores or your libraries to find those books. And until next time, happy reading. Bye. Bye.